Hello and welcome all to Dr. Shaw's Holistic Health Diaries, your one-stop destination for all the latest healthcare insights. My dear friends and folks, today we're going to turn on the page and take up one more important topic. And today we're going to focus and shed light on one of the topics which is equally important for parents, health givers and clinicians. Yes, we're going to talk about early warning signs of type 1 diabetes, especially in children, which is of paramount importance because it often goes under the radar. And as we know, children are naive and sometimes cannot elucidate and communicate their problems and symptoms to us. Therefore, as uh, parents and healthcare givers who should be vigilant and always on the alert to pick up these early warning signs as early as possible so that we pick up the disease and start the uh, treatment of type 1 diabetes as soon as possible to prevent the progression of and stage uh, diseases of diabetic related complications and especially the DKA which has got a very fatal and fatal consequence in terms of mortality and morbidity in terms of uh, children and infants worldwide. Therefore, it's pertinent for adults and caregivers to know the early warning signs to start the treatment of type 1 diabetes as early as possible to prevent the end-stage organ damage as well. And in this context and in this uh, immense uh, problem which we face world over, I thought of making out an educational video, a kind of a video in a cartoonic or animated form is going to be very interactive and it's uh, easy learning and fun understanding and let me know your suggestions and comments below how do you like it and it's very important and that we pick up these signs and we stay vigilant and we start the treatment as soon as possible to prevent the progression of any end stage renal disease especially in children so stay connected stay tuned in and buckle up and get, re get ready for the animated series to know more and to understand more and to portray and stay vigilant and stay active and stay healthy and stay blessed all of you thank you so much welcome all to dr shah's holistic health diaries it is time to shift the spotlight to a red flag and important topic early warning signs of diabetes in children and let me tell you it's not just about sugar rushes and candy crashes nope type 1 diabetes in children is a serious business and catching it early can make a world of difference so um Grab your magnifying glasses, folks. We're about to become diabetes detectives. Let's kick things off with what I like to call the thirsty, hungry, and tired trio. First up, thirst. We're talking about a thirst that would make a camel jealous. If your kid is suddenly chugging water like it's going out of style and making more bathroom trips than a long haul trucker, that's your first clue. Next on our list, hunger. But not just any hunger. We're talking about the kind of hunger that makes you wonder if your kid has a black hole for a stomach. If they're eating enough to feed a small army but still losing weight faster than a snowman in summer, that's red flag number two. Last but not least in our trio, fatigue. Now, I know what you're thinking, but kids are always tired. True, but we're talking about a level of tiredness that makes a sloth look hyperactive. If your once energetic child is suddenly acting like they're auditioning for the role of Sleeping Beauty, it's time to pay attention. But wait, there's more. Let's dive into some of the less obvious signs. First up, mood swings. If your child is suddenly moodier than a cat in a bathtub, it might not just be hormones. Diabetes can turn even the sweetest kid into a tiny terror faster than you can say blood glucose. Now here's a weird one. Fruity breath. No. I'm not talking about fruit-flavored gum. If your child's breath suddenly smells like you've wandered into a tropical fruit market, that's a big red flag. Uh, let's not forget about blurry vision. If your kid starts squinting at their favorite TV show or complaining about fuzzy homework, it might not just be an excuse to avoid math. And speaking of excuses, if cuts and scrapes are taking forever to heal, or if your child is suddenly wetting the bed after being dry for years, those are also potential signs of diabetes. So. What do you do if you spot these signs? Well, don't panic, but don't dawdle either. If you notice one or more of these symptoms, it's time to call in the real medical detectives. Remember, early detection is key in managing diabetes effectively and to prevent complications like diabetic ketoacidosis or DKA. And hey, who knows? Your newfound detective skills might just save the day. Um, stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Dr. Shah's Holistic Health Diaries for more health tips.